right away. I didn't know it was going to be this big, but I knew that something awesome was going to happen with it. What started as a scholarship opportunity for Rachel Peterson soon became a turning point in her grandfather's history. I interviewed my grandpa for the first time. Um, none of his family had ever spoken to him about his experience in Vietnam. Some guys come home wounded. Some guys come home dead. Some guys come home with less than physical scars. And I consider my very, myself very blessed that I am here today. And then we got to talking and he told me about some, some rescues that he, that he performed and um, he saved a couple of men's lives. We were terrorized by Viet Cong guerrillas because where we were stationed, they had the earth was honeycombed with tunnels and the Viet Cong would use some of these tunnels, one, two, three stories below ground. And then he said he was supposed to be awarded the Bronze Star for meritorious service. However, for Earl Kaufman, days turned to weeks, months, and even years. I didn't put too much into it because I thought, well, it takes a while for the paperwork to get processed and it'd be sent to me in the mail. And 50 years later, he never received his Bronze Star. They told me in a statement when I got my Cold War certificate that there was a fire in St. Louis back in the 70s and my paperwork may have been lost. Kaufman gave up on getting his medal, but Peterson was motivated by his story. She began telling her grandfather's story and doing countless hours of research. I, I made a lot of phone calls and my time commitment went from like four hours a week to eight hours a week to now about four hours a day. Until the unbelievable happened when Kaufman's records were found and were resubmitted for his Bronze Star, which he will get this Friday. When I think about it, I get overwhelmed at times even today uh, because I knew I was right all along. Her grandfather's story inspired Peterson to help other veterans as well, and she began her own nonprofit, Abiding Bronze Star. There are so many Vietnam veterans, thousands of them, who are without their paperwork and medals and what have you, I guess. And um, I would love to see that as, as justice for them. Rachel will help other veterans, and I'm really proud of her. Kaufman says he is honored to be receiving the award, but will be the first to admit... Rachel is my bronze star. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.